Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now on question number five from the June October 2020 Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level LXL paper. And this question is about Ben, who is saving for the deposit for a house over a period of 60 months. Ben saves £100 in the first month and in each subsequent month he saves £5 more than the previous month so that he saves 105 in the second month, 110 in the third month and so on forming an arithmetic sequence. We've got to find the amount that Ben saves in the 40th month and the total amount that Ben saves over the 60 month period. Okay, so for part A, first of all, in fact let's just look at the thing in general you've got first of all you've got the term number so when n equals one okay he's saving a hundred pounds that's the first amount that he saves when n equals two he's going to have 105 pounds saved the third month he's going to save 110 pounds so every month he's, he's saving five pounds more than he did previously and we've got to find how much he saves in the 40th month and we've also got to find how much he saves all together for the first 60 months. So let's start with part A. Now part A, they're asking about the uh, 40th month, how much he saves in that month itself. So we want to, basically we're looking for the 40th term. Okay, we're looking for the 40th term. We want to know um, when n equals 40, what un is. That's what we have to find. Okay, so we know there's a general formula for the... Um, term in an arithmetic sequence is un equals a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the nth term for a geo, for a arithmetic sequence, where one where you have to keep adding each time to get to the next term. And this formula is found in your formula book, uh, but after a little bit of practice you won't really have to look at that. Um, so basically now what we can do is we can, we know here that the first term is 100, so a is equal to 100. And we know the common difference here is equal to 5, because you're adding 5 each time. Okay, so we can say that the 40th term, which is what we have to find, is equal to a, which is 100, plus n minus 1, which is going to be uh, 40 minus 1, which is 39, 39 times the common difference, which is 5. And that's going to give us the 40th term. So we can just work out what that is, and stick in our calculator 100 plus 39 times 5 times 5 and that gives us 295 pounds so 295 pounds is the 40th term so that's how much he saves in the 40th month and then for, for part b <coughs> sorry for part b we have to find the total amount that he saves over the 60 month period so for part b um, we're looking for now the sum of the first 60 terms. That's what we're looking for. And so, of course, n is 60 now. And a and d are, of course, the same thing. So a is 100 and d is equal to 5. And we're going to use the formula that the sum of the first n terms, now this formula is also in the formula book, n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so this is a formula which is in the formula book, although sometimes you might be asked to actually prove the formula. Uh, so you should know how to prove it, which uh, you'll find in um, some of the videos that you'll see at the end of this video. There will be a uh, end screen which shows somewhere over here, um, you know, my videos on series and sequences, and you can click on that and find a video on proving the the some of the first n terms of an arithmetic series, which is something we're supposed to know. Anyway, so this is um, the formula that we need. There's another formula as well, which is n over 2 times a plus l, which is more useful for us if we know the last term, which would here be the 60th term. So we could work out the 60th term and use this formula, but um, I guess this is easier in this case to use this formula. So we're going to say that 60th term is going to be, or sorry, the sum of the first 60 terms, not the 60th term, the sum of the first 60, ter 60 terms, means all of them added together, is going to be n over 2, so it's 60 over 2, which is 30, times 2, uh, times 100, plus n minus 1, which is 59 now, times d, which is 5. 
Okay, so that will give us the sum of the first 60 terms, which will be the answer for part B. So we just take the calculator and we just put this in the calculator. So we have 60 over 2, which is 30 times, and we're going to have 200 plus 59 times 5. Okay, it's 30 times 200 plus 59 times 5, and that gives us 14,850 pounds. 14,850 pounds, and there's the answer for part B. Okay, so that's part A and B done. Now we're going to move on to part C. Okay, part C, it says Lena is also saving for a deposit for a house, and she saved 600 pounds in the first month, and then... In each subsequent month, she saves £10 less than the previous month. So that she saves 590 in the second month, 580 in the third month, and so on. So this, in her case, her first term is 600 but then the second term, it goes down. The amount she saves each month is decreasing. Um, so 590 580 and so on. Um, given that after N months, Lisa will have saved exactly... Um, after she has exactly 18,240 deposit form an equation in n so uh, we don't need to know that but we know that the sum of the first n months the sum of the first n months is going to be equal to the sum which they gave us 18,200 so we know that the sum of the first n months is 18,200 pounds Okay, and we've got to find, we're going to make an equation for finding n. So we know that um, her first term is 600, and her common difference is it's going down by 10, so it's negative 10. Very important for you to, do, to realize that. Okay, so we need to use the sum of the first n terms, which I said was n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Now here we know what a is, we know what d is, and we don't know what n is, and our formula when we put this, all these things into the formula, we also know what Sn is, 18,200. If we substitute all of this into this formula, we should end up with something that simplifies to what they gave us. So let's see if that works out. Okay, so let's see if that works out now. So we're going to have um, 18,200 is equal to N over 2. We don't know what N is, so N over 2 times 2 times A. So it's 2 times 600 plus n minus 1, which we don't know, times minus 10. So this will be the same as uh, minus 10 times, just put the d first, times n minus 1. Okay, so we've got 18,200 equals, let's multiply this out, it's easier. n over 2 times 2, well, that will cancel out, so that will give you 600n, okay, because those cancel, and then n over 2 times minus 10 is going to give us minus 5n, Okay, minus 5n times n minus 1. All right, so we can now expand that to have 18,200 equals 600n minus 5n squared plus 5n. Let's bring everything on this side. So uh, we'll have 5n squared on this side. Okay, 5n squared. And we've got 600 uh, plus 5, which is 605. On this side, we become minus... 605 n and we have 18,200 um, plus 18,200 equals 0 okay so now we have to divide everything by 5 to simplify this to put it in this form if we divide the whole equation by 5 this gives you n squared 5 600 uh, divided by 5 is going to give you um, 5 into 6 goes 1 remainder 1 5 into 10 goes 2 and 5 into 1, 5 goes 1, 121n plus, and you got 5 into 18 goes 3, remainder 3, 5 into 32 goes 6, remainder 2, 5 into 20 goes 4, so 3640 equals 0, and that's exactly what we had to show. n squared minus 121n plus 3640 equals 0. So there, there we've shown what we had to show, and that's the answer to part C. Now moving on to part D, it says solve the equation in part C. So we got to solve the equation n squared minus 120n plus 3640 equals 0. Now this, remember, this n we're finding here represents that the amount of time it takes for her to save this much for her deposit. 
So this is a quadratic equation here. And what we need to do is we need to factorize and solve this equation. Well, factorizing this might be a bit, a bit of a hassle um, because, uh, you know, it's like a bit of a strange number to, to, to deal with. So I would personally not waste my time with factorizing. I would use the quadratic formula here. You have to show a method of factorizing or, or completing the square or, uh, you know, using the quadratic formula. So here I would personally use the formula. So I have say n equals plus, um, sorry, minus b, minus b. So remember the quadratic formula. You don't have to actually quote it, but just to quote it, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And here we can say our a is 1, our b is 120, minus 121, and our c is 3640. So if you use the formula here, you'll have minus b, so it's going to be 121, because minus and a minus gives you plus, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is going to be minus 121 all squared, okay, uh, minus b squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 3640, all over 2a, which is 2 times 1, which will give you 2. Now that should give us two values of n. So writing that is enough for us to get the marks for this question, uh, for the method for this question, writing this out. You don't have to write out the quadratic formula itself. You can write out the use of it in a proper way, and that will give you the marks for the question. So we got 121. Let me put this under a bracket. 121 plus the square root of um, 121 squared. I don't have to worry about the minus because it's going to become plus anyway. Um, minus, if I did put the minus, if I did have to worry about the minus, I would have to put this minus inside a bracket. So just in case, there's a lot of people make a mistake here actually, so I'll show you that. When you, if you do use the minus there, you have to put it inside the bracket because it's going to also be squared. So that's what, that's, that's important. Okay, minus 121 squared minus 4 times, and you're going to have 3640, 3640 divided by 2a, divided by 2, that gives you 65. So you've got 65 as one answer. And you get another answer when you put a minus there, because it's plus or minus the square root of. So I'll change that to a minus, and I get 56. So those are our two solutions to this equation. In this particular part of the question, they didn't tell us to differentiate between which solution is the correct solution and which solution is the incorrect solution. They want us to give us, just to give the answer or to solve the equation, just solve this equation. Part E says state with a reason which of the solutions to the equation is not a sensible value for n. Okay, now if you think about it, n represents the number of months it takes for her to have saved exactly 18,200 for her deposit. So if she saves if, it if we got two answers, 56 and 65, you can say after 56 months, after 56 months, she would have reached her target. She already saved what she needs, what is needed. Therefore, n equals uh, 65 is not sensible and there's an another reason as well i can think of because we know that uh, for her we can see that um, her nth term if you think about it, her nth term is going to be a which was 600 plus n minus 1 times d so it's going to be minus 10 times because 10 was the uh, minus 10 was the um, common difference times d that would be 64 times um, 64, 65 minus 1. So this would be the 65th term. The 65th term would be, give, be, be given by this, which is 600 minus 640, which is minus 40. Okay, so that basically means she has to save, she would save, she would save minus 40 pounds in, in that month. Okay, so this is not sensible. Not sensible because it means she saves a negative amount. I 
okay so that's why this is not sensible okay there's two reasons you could give after 56 months she already has saved what's needed so you know that's the answer basically okay and another reason you could give is if you put choose n equals 65 that's going to be a, a case where she has to save a negative amount which doesn't really make sense okay so there's the answer to part uh, d and e of this question and we have now finished this question other questions to do with arithmetic and just generally series in in general will be found in this um card over here or this link over here underneath or on, on top here would be sorry the playlist for this paper underneath here will be the um, playlist for this topic of sequences in the center here you can uh, subscribe to my channel and at the top here you can click on the card which takes you to another P2 paper that you might be interested in watching. Thank you. And uh, those of you who want to find the PDF of the paper, you can find it in the description of the playlist. And you can get to the playlist, as I said, from the link that comes here and from the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you soon.